If we don't manage to get all the parts out, then essentially we can't go racing. If we can't build two chassis and essentially have enough spares in case there are any crashes that happen throughout the weekend, then we've not done our job properly and the cars will stop. Yeah, no, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> So all the freight has come back from Miami and we are transitioning from air freight to our trucks for the Europeans, so ahead of Imola for next week. So certain parts will um, get serviced um, as they might have run out of mileage um, and repair any broken parts. So some of the first stuff that will go out will be like garage equipment for the setup crew. They'll go in the first trucks, so they'll get turned around quickly. And then everything else will kind of come through ready for the Monday trucks to go. In total, there'll be thousands of parts but there'll be probably about 500 parts that will go through the factory ready to go out again. Turnaround week involves a lot of departments. So it'll start off with our area where we sort out the parts and then they'll get pushed out to different areas such as component assembly, car assembly, composite manufacturing, testing, um, to get everything ready. So this is one of our typically busier weeks of the year, um, having the turnaround and because everything does come back, we have more opportunity to look through parts. So it ends up being a lot busier than a usual week, even though we're not racing this week, it's still busy. <laughs> so we've just unpacked the first truck. There's still more to come, um, but now we can start sorting through parts and getting them pushed around the factory ready to be turned around again. We start by looking at it, parts logistics, and then it will get filtered out into departments such as component assembly, car assembly, um, comps production, um, stores will get involved as well. So it involves quite a few areas of the business as well. So we've just uh, stripped the side pod, um, taken all the vinyl wrap off of it so uh, it's ready to be uh, repaired. Um, so we've got some voids here, uh, just going to do a 20mm parameter, it's quite a big bit. So we'll do a big 20mm parameter around the outside, uh, we'll just make sure that uh, it's keyed up as well. And then when it goes into the laminating area they know exactly where they're going to be putting the uh, pre-preg laminate. The laminators will laminate it tonight, we'll crack it out tomorrow morning, it should be back out to paint slash vinyl, uh, be Saturday morning slash up to the afternoon and then we should get it back ready for the freight on Monday. We don't get very big turnarounds anymore, especially with the amount of races that we've got nowadays. I mean, just like everyone's seen on TV, we didn't have a great end of year last year. It was um, really quite busy. Um, being part of the team out in um, Brazil, that was a bit um, hectic and trying to turn three cars around in one day was absolutely insane. But I mean, it's what we love, it's what we do, it keeps us busy. Every single time something breaks, it's always a slightly different way. So we can kind of give our expertise in that sort of area and come up with a really good repair scheme between us all. And this year has been a really nice change, especially where the car could have done a lot more at the start of last year. And now that we're not crashing, then we can actually prove that the car was in the right place. The whole vibe of the place is, um, is really picked up and just seeing the sign as you drive into the into the factory it's a really nice kind of welcome to the start of your shift and reminder on the end of your shift when you see it it's um yeah it's great it's really really helpful and it's nice that the whole team's kind of come together with this one so now this is all done i'm going to give it a quick clean up uh, we're going to laminating for the pre-break and then once it's out it'll go straight to vinyl and then straight to Imola. All the parts are ready to go now. They're all just being packed up, ready to go straight to Imola. It's been a very busy week, so we've had to turn around three chassis. We've also been doing additional tests at the factory as well, and that's on top of the general servicing and repairs that we usually do anyway. So yeah, very, very busy. 